Can agile method and ISO 2626 to standard based functional safety really go hand in hand? Let's try and answer this. The race to develop robust and safe software in a tight time frame has prompted the companies to adopt methods like agile. In the context of automobile, ISO 2626 standard addresses the unreasonable risk in case of malfunctions in a product. When agile meets ISO 2626 standard, there are both conflicts and opportunities. Let's try and understand what this workflow and artifacts will look like. Starting with the sprint plan 1 where the product owner briefs what are the goals of the particular sprint and talks about the main sprint tasks. Sprint planning 2 will be the stage where team uh, breaks down the backlog and talks about the goals of the sprint and what methods will be used to achieve them. This will include both safety requirements and functional uh, requirements daily scrum meeting will have participants like process uh, product owner the scrum master the team and also the safety manager to comply to check to um, verify whether the status and uh, the achievements of the goals are on track sprint review which is usually the technical review to uh, um, check whether the backlogs are achieved as planned will also include the safety relevant checks retrospective for learnings and backlog refinement for the next sprint plan understanding the various roles in safety relevant agile project would be there won't be that much of a difference in the product owner scrum master or development team roles but the safety manager is an additional uh, a role here who will make sure that the organization specific processes and um, uh, relevant tools asil qualified tools the safety requirement implementation safety analysis and test coverages are taken care by the team and being guided by the product owner now the key takeaways here are that there are various instances of combining the agile project and functional safety in the industry many companies have already been doing this the union is usually fa- uh, promoting the fast time to market and giving the developers control over the team that's the core value of agile projects right giving the power to the team so to respond faster to ch- uh, adapt to change faster the traceability it does not get lost we do achieve the safety v model in a more iterative agile way thank you for listening